what I tell you, buying on margin has hit a record high. Please don't forget to become a subscriber because without you, there's no me. And without you putting likes and become a subscriber, my videos would not get out there because the algorithm would not be able to pick up those videos because of less likes and less subscriptions, subscribers. So make sure you become one and destroy the like button and look out for my latest content. Now remember, I go by One Cheap Compadre, and you're watching Cheap Compadre TV. We're on my channel. We talk about investing, savings, politics, and even and even story time. Now remember, my number one rule when it comes to investing is that you never ever invest with someone else's money. You always use your money to invest in the stock market. Now, I'm no financial guru or financial planner or advisor or whatever you want to call them, but I can tell you this. If you're going to invest, you better use your money. And if that just means you have $100 in your broker's account and you have 100% ownership, then that's what you have instead of $100,000 and 6% of that is owned by the banks the brokers okay so no matter what you invest in from individual stocks to buying on margin with option trading to etfs to mutual funds to index funds you name it whatever you invest in make sure that you invest with your money do not borrow from the banks do not borrow from the brokers because if you do you will end up broke or burned, depending on how you invest. So, with that in mind, let's get started with the video. Oh, market cap, that's what margin debt is. So it's not out of whack right now. In fact, what's interesting is that we didn't make a new high in margin debt for this entire period of, of more than two years. If you go back here, that's May of 2018. Uh, since then, the S&P 500 is up something like 35%. Total margin debt from here to here is up only 7%. So maybe it develops into a problem. Maybe this fits in with a lot of under, other indicators of heavy speculation going on right now. But in itself, it's more of a coincident indicator. So you mean to tell me that people who are buying on margin right now is not a concern to you? That people are actually uh, borrowing money to invest because of speculation? that they have a feeling that the stock market is going to continue going up. And then at the end of this segment, you actually said that you shouldn't borrow money to invest, but borrow money off of your portfolio to invest. And if you can, buy a yacht, a boat. Really? Are we really taking this seriously? How people are feeling confident enough to take out money and not just take out money from the banks, from the brokers, but also to take out money against their portfolios? You mean to tell me people are actually doing this? The value of people's portfolios is higher. They're willing to take on some borrowing against it. Doesn't, to me, uh, tell us that there's a particularly vulnerable condition right there in the markets. Buying money from someone. I'm telling you, my number one rule, and always will be, that you have full 100% ownership of what you do. And when it comes to investing, make sure that you are investing your money into the stock market, not someone else's money, not the bank's money, not the broker's, and especially not borrowing off of your portfolio to invest because you have a hunch, a speculation that the stock market is going to continue going up. You're going to have a bull market and it's never going to come back down. Do you really believe that? Do you really think that is wise to do this? Tell me what you think, everyone. Do you think it's a good idea to borrow money or borrow off your portfolio to invest in the stock market because you have this feeling that you can beat the stock market, that it that the stock market would never go down? Do you really believe that? Do you 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 haven't heard of a bear market stock can eventually come down? Do you feel that confident? Put a comment below and tell me what you think. And before before you do that, make sure to destroy the like button, 
hit that bell for my latest content and put down a comment and if you believe that it's a wise decision to borrow money or borrow money off of your portfolio to invest in the stock market.